and good morning from my new ottoman do you see i finally built it if you watch my last vlog i just ended it and i am um, starting off my weekend with the right hardware to build my ottoman so i love it it looks so nice and really just kind of completes this area more and i'm really excited about it obsessed and now it is saturday i went and got some coffee this morning as a little weekend treat i've been watching love island just really thriving and ready to start this weekend i also got some clothes in the mail that i'm going to try on with you guys i got a couple things that were on sale on abercrombie and i finally got something i've been waiting to get from outdoor voices let's start this vlog with a little try on haul shall we I just say you on my ottoman. See, now we have another filming location. Um, I bought these on a whim. It wasn't like I had been searching for things, um, but I bought these because of someone's Instagram story who was doing like a try on of things that were on sale at Abercrombie. And I was like, okay, I'll bite. These look really cute on her. So hopefully they look good on me. I don't really have any denim shorts that I'm in love with. So I decided to get a pair from Abercrombie that were on sale. These are the mom short high rise. They're like a medium wash. I'm not sure that they're still on sale. I'm sorry if I'm misleading anyone. They're the Curve Love ones. They got a little stretch to them. They're like this cut off high rise short. They seem like they'll be really comfy and just very universal. Like these will kind of go with everything. So I'm excited to try these on. Anyway, um, I haven't bought, actually I do have a pair of jeans from Abercrombie from a few years ago that were on sale, but um, I haven't bought some in a while. I just haven't bought jeans in a while in general and I've been wanting to have a good pair. Okay, yeah, it does seem like they have a lot more room in the thighs. They're ripped at the knee. These ones are the Kick Flare 11 and a half inch ultra high rise. Warm fitting to the knee with a slight cropped flare. I, know, I have like two pairs that I usually go between their skinny jeans. So I wanted to add some variety. They look cute. I like the rip in the knee, very slight distressing, but yeah, like a medium light wash. So, Let's try them on, shall we? I got these in a 10 short because I always, I'm usually an eight, but honestly jeans, like they actually fit perfectly. So, I don't know, I guess I go between eight and 10, but the short length is perfect for me. I'm 5'3", I love these. They were definitely like a little tight going over my butt, but that's because of the curve love. Like they want the waist to actually fit your waist. So it has to be smaller and it actually fits me perfectly like this is great for my proportions and i'm a big fan of these I, and like look at that length it's perfect <laughs> going in enough at the waist and then having room in the butt and thighs i'm very impressed with these so shout out to abercrombie really killed it with this i'm excited to try the shorts and these are actually Pretty perfect too, pretty good fit. These are the mom jeans or the mom shorts, like I said, high rise. And I do kind of wish like they weren't straight across cut, like a little bit higher on the sides, you know? I feel like that's a little more flattering on shorts, but they're still super comfy. Yeah, like I would definitely wear these with a lot of things. Um, and I do wish they were a little lighter wash, but I think they were out of a lot of things when I was shopping. There weren't many options because of the sale, but overall, like I do think the fit is amazing and comfy there's like enough stretch and give in the waist still and i'm glad i got the 10 because it doesn't matter what size you wear as long as they're comfortable you know it's just for reference if you guys are interested in the same ones i'm really into these so good job abercrombie the one the only this has been on my list forever but it's always sold out and then randomly janine amapola posted on her story a link to it and i was like okay janine it's probably sold out but i swiped up anyway and they had it and i was well i was surprised because i signed up for the emails like let me know when it's in stock and i never got one but then janine posted it and it was in stock so i was like okay thanks for the email outdoor voices but i ordered it finally you probably already know it is the one and only outdoor voices exercise dress so this has been something i've been wanting just because i find a lot of times if i just like this morning want to go run to the coffee shop but it's super hot outside i don't really want to put on 
a bra and shorts and a dress or whatever like it's all built into this and it's like it's meant for exercising so it's supposed to be sweat wicking i got a medium so let's hope that it is good i wasn't sure if i should get medium or large but it seems stretchy and also i'm short so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go for the medium and hope for the best so nice sweat wicking it has the little outdoor voices on the back super high quality um the built-in bra is not padded though wait i don't even think it has a built-in bra i thought it did this is not a bra in my opinion <laughs> it has adjustable straps on the back so let's try her on i kept the like actual bra i was wearing on because it literally looked like it had no padding in it so whatever um but I think it's pretty cute. It's definitely, I don't know, part of me when I was putting it on, like the straps were tight and I was like, oh, I probably should have gotten the large. It's a little short, but honestly it's not. It's like longer than fingertip length. I should probably try it without my bra. Um, very comfy. It's literally like a unitard one piece all the way up underneath, which I didn't realize. I thought it was just like separate shorts somehow. Great for like throwing on to run errands super quick or honestly it's pretty versatile because it's black. So who knows, but love this and excited to wear it i am taking the exercise dress out for a spin now that i'm ready i'm gonna go over to soho and i'm gonna look for i mean i was in soho last weekend when i was looking for this and we didn't find anything but it was a holiday so hopefully today um we can find a print shop that's open because i want to see if i can find some sort of prints for my wall for the frames i showed you guys but yeah i'm wearing the outdoor voices exercise dress with this little um shacket from zara and my little crossbody bag which i get a lot of questions about still and um it's on my amazon page but the black one's like sold out and it says unsure if it will be back in stock but there's a brown one if you're interested so amazon page is always linked below and air force ones so just a little running around Soho fit. I actually have my friend's birthday party tonight at her place in Williamsburg. Um, so I wanna, I probably won't be out long because I wanna come back and finish my video for tomorrow before I head over there. I need to pick up some stuff to bring and such too. So yeah, that's just gonna be a little afternoon adventure. Here's some prints. Hmm. Okay, it turns out it was a framing shop, not even like a place with actual prints. So, a bust. But we tried. So now, just walking through Soho, enjoying the day. <laughs> so the print shop was a bust like I said but it was nice to walk around Soho I went to see a friend at work and I didn't come home completely empty-handed I stopped at the liquor store so that's all I got out of that trip but it was still nice to like go out for a little bit because it was nice out today so at the liquor store I didn't get much I just got a bottle of champagne for my friend's birthday tonight I'm gonna bring over to her place a pack of high noons there's just four of them in here the watermelon high noons are one of my favorite seltzers. I love that flavor. So I just got a pack of all watermelon. I got a couple of mini New Amsterdams because these are good to throw in your bag if you're like going to a pregame or something. Just a couple of them. And yeah, so just a mini <laughs> stock up for the weekend situation. And I'm gonna eat something for dinner and then get ready to head over to my friend's birthday. So Saturday night. Let's do this. I just got ready for the birthday party tonight, so I'm just wearing this floral banana leaf dress. I think I wore this recently, but not with these people, so that's my way around that. And my necklace from Medina's Jewels. I remembered because I'm pretty sure this is what I was wearing when I got this, but it's fine. And my like chunky white um, platform sandals, and yeah, we're, I think we're just staying at the apartment. Like, it's just a house party situation. So, I'm um, not having to go anywhere. I'm going to bring the champagne and a couple drinks and head over. So, I don't know if I'll get any footage, maybe a couple clips. But, just a night with friends. Happy Saturday. Yeah, thank you. It's like, I don't know how long. Wow, the teamwork. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello everyone. <laughs> I have dry shampoo in my hair and I've had the laziest morning ever. I've just been watching Love Island and truly lounging and enjoying the cloudy weather from inside and it's been great. But now it's early afternoon and I've decided to get ready and go out into the world. Um, I was talking to my friends last night about different markets and stuff because I want to try and do more like antique shopping and look for some unique things that I could possibly bring into my apartment. So um, I'm gonna go to Chelsea Flea. It's like a flea market in Chelsea, if it wasn't clear from the name, and see if I find anything that speaks to me. So last night was so much fun and my friend Anzi's birthday and one of her friends brought her puppy and we played with the puppy and it was so cute. I think I might've got a few clips of it. I'm gonna straighten a few pieces of my hair. I think I'm just gonna put it up because it's kind of annoying me and I can get it out of my face. I'm kind of digging the cloudy weather. It's not super hot today. It's like in the 70s, which is a blessing. <laughs> a chill Sunday. We have to record the podcast intro at some point, but that'll probably be later in the day. And yeah, I got a video up this morning. Nothing too pressing on my to-do list. It's been a pretty relaxed weekend, which is nice. Oh, I also want to get my eyebrows done, I think. I forgot about that. Um, I'm going to look on ClassPass and see if the place I went last time, I think it's called Esphere Salon, has any openings. Um, I kind of just did it last minute last time, so hopefully there's some openings on a Sunday. It's in that area. It's over by the Empire State Building. I figured I could just go and get some of my eyebrows cleaned up a little bit. I do think they've grown in a little bit since the last time I was there. Um, when I got my eyebrows waxed by this lady last time, she recommended me to put some like rosemary oil on them. Is this blurry? I feel like it might be a fingerprint on the screen. I'm not wearing mascara yet if I look a little weird. And I've been taking biotin since then, so I think they might have grown in a little more, which is good because I have very thin hair, we know. <laughs> Just like in between here, I feel like they could use a little cleaning up. Because now that I think about it, I was looking back at pictures and it feels like to me I had just gotten them done, um, but that was probably in April. Also, I'm using this scrunchie from, I was about to say Spanx, but it's not Springs. What is that um, nylon company? Okay, maybe this is, it's like kind of huge. Does this look ridiculous? Yeah, I think it does. I think maybe it's too big for my tiny ponytail and it being too high on my head. Do you guys ever see those ads for like the unbreakable tights that are supposed to be so strong? I have a pair of them and I got the scrunchie with it, but I don't remember what it's called. How do I have, I swear I'm the owner of probably like 5,000 hair ties, but none of them are ever in plain sight when I need them to be. <laughs> like they always hide. Um, my arm's falling asleep though, so I'm just gonna have to do this over again. Okay, <laughs> but yay, Sunday, fun day. Okay, I have finally put on clothes, ready to go into the world. Um, I'm just wearing this off the shoulder top. It's like this big flowy one that I rented from Newly this month. I don't recall the brand off the top of my head, but it has like a little slit in the back and it kind of like jumps up on my shoulders easily so i'm probably gonna be doing this a lot but so it goes i think it's a little big but that's okay and i tucked it into these white shorts these are princess polly a couple years back so they're kind of like the paper bag waist shorts with a black belt and air force ones so threw my hair in a ponytail as you guys know <laughs> that i struggled to get um little gold jewelry adidas jewels amazon and Nordstrom sunglasses. Why is this? Yeah, I think this lens is dirty. I need to clean this. But yes, I looked to make an appointment for my eyebrows and they were all booked up today. And the next one was on Tuesday. So I made an appointment for Tuesday. Um, not urgent, clearly, but that's all. Okay, let's go see if we can find some fun market pieces. This is not a bad idea. Sure. Okay, this finally came to Cafe Leon Dor. I've been meaning to come here because I've seen pictures of it. 
and I got the iced cappuccino. I got oat milk in it, but it is like dairy skim milk on top, but I just wanted to try it, so excited. It looks beautiful. And I'm going to meet up with my friend um, who's shopping in Soho right now, and I bought this book at a bookstore. Home now. I went to Soho. I think I got a clip. I went to Cafe Leon d'Or and got one of their iced cappuccinos because I've been seeing pictures of them and they look so good. And it was pretty good. I did have to get the dairy milk for like the foam on top, um, so they couldn't do that dairy free. But um, it was good. It, I think it looks better than it. It just like tasted like an iced cappuccino, but it was really pretty. So <laughs> and then I met up with my friend in Soho and we shopped around a little bit. Um, I don't really think I filmed anything of that. And now I'm home. I came back and we recorded the intro for the podcast. So that's done and I'm making dinner right now. I'm doing HelloFresh. This one is the buffalo chicken cutlet. Don't really feel like having mashed potatoes so I'm just gonna roast them in the air fryer instead and then make the chicken and green beans and it sounds delicious. So I have Love Island playing in the background and I'm just cooking and thriving and having a good Sunday night. I love cooking on Sunday nights. I feel like I haven't done it in a while, um, but it's just therapeutic for me. <laughs> like something about Sundays, especially. I'm gonna season with salt and pepper and then a little bit of this black truffle garlic seasoning for some truffle garlic potatoes, a little extra flavor. Let's do a little over 10 minutes to start and then we'll check them. I love that timer sound, it's so cute. So we got the chicken and the green beans. Hoping for the best, they look done to me. Oh, sizzle, sizzle. And I did use the um, cheese in the coating. I have my own gluten-free panko. But I've been getting some questions recently because I will do like post some grocery things that I found that I like on my story or whatever. And I've got responses like, hey, that actually has gluten. I don't know if you know if you're still gluten free, which is very kind. I generally 90, probably 80% of the time am gluten and dairy free. Um, but honestly, you guys, I feel like my skin, my skin's been so much better recently. And I think it's just the weather, like in the summer when it's nice, spring and summer, my skin just clears up. And what it is, is it's not that gluten and dairy don't affect it because obviously like I notice a difference in the winter, especially when my skin's already sensitive to the weather. If I eat gluten and dairy, it'll immediately react and my eczema will flare. But in the summer, it'll come up a little bit, but not nearly as bad when I eat gluten and dairy. So that's why I've been kind of like lax with it recently. Like I do for the bulk of my meals, um, just out of habit and just because it's, I don't know, I like it better. Um, like when I'm cooking myself, I generally cook and buy all gluten and dairy free. Um, and then like on the weekends, I'll have a little bit here and there as a treat. But the last month or two, like I really haven't, it's not like I'm eating macaroni and cheese or anything, but like I've been a lot more lax and it's just not affecting me as much. And that's why I do it because of my eczema. And so, you know, if it's not flaring up and I can have a little more like I'm going to, so that's just to answer some questions because I've been getting some. So you guys, I still like in general prefer to eat gluten and dairy free when I can. Um, and especially like once it starts getting colder again and my skin's more sensitive, I'll probably be more strict about it. But right now, I'm just riding the wave. So yes, a little bit of cheese. I also had a little bit of dairy in my coffee I mentioned earlier. No one can hurt you. Got Billy Eilish stuck in my head. Oh no, I just got the coating all messed up. Stay. Today, hmm. I'll put it in this one. Let's see if I can fit the green beans in the small container. Kind of late, it's almost nine, but I didn't really get home until seven. And well, actually, we didn't finish recording until eight. So, yeah, after I eat, I'm probably gonna watch this episode of Love Island and then do some cleaning, run the dishwasher, get some things in order. This Sunday evening. Do a little bit of honey, so I'm gonna drizzle out on the chicken. Yum, hot honey chicken. Would you look at that? Amazing. What a night. <laughs> Hi everyone. 
I'm making some food right now. It is the next day. And, and I don't know, you guys. Like, I feel like I keep waiting for some sort of, like, ugh, like, burst of inspiration that's not coming. Do you ever get like that where you feel like you're in a rut and you're like, okay, if I just get past this or I just get this one thing, um, like, it'll be okay. And I just keep waiting and waiting for something and I don't even know what. Ugh. I think I just feel impatient because I keep thinking that like I should have gotten an interview by now I haven't gotten any bites on anything I've applied to and I just feel like kind of ugh, I don't know like I know that everything happens in good time and things will fall into place and I know that it'll be okay and like something the right thing's gonna come along but in the meantime I'm just like like I, I don't know the waiting I just know it's the waiting game is very frustrating and I just wish I had like something to go on I don't know every time I get an email I literally like get so excited and I rush my computer and then I, it's just another email list I never signed up for <laughs> I'm gonna go into the city today and try and switch things up for myself um, but you guys will see that in my next vlog. If you're still watching this, you're truly a real one. So, love you guys so much. Um, that was kind of my weekend. What I got up to, random clips, um, mini haul video, etc. I'm like not even making sense right now, but I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. Love you guys so much. Thanks for sticking with me in this weird in-between time when I'm just weird and videos are weird and everything's weird, but that is life. So, talk to you soon. Subscribe if you want. <laughs> Bye.